Ukrainian troops have violated the ceasefire region more than 400 times after signing the peace agreement in Minsk. Edward Basurin, a spokesman for the Defense Ministry of the Donetsk People's Republic, DPR, said on Tuesday. According to Basurin, the most difficult situation remains in the vicinity of the Donetsk airport and south of Mariupol, where Kiev is pulling units of armored vehicles and servicemen. Random shelling of DPR forces positions from firearms and mortars continued all through yesterday. An accident involving two of the APCs on the way from Kiev to the town of Berezan in the Kiev region resulted in the death of a Ukrainian soldier. Two APCs connected by a rigid tow hitch jackknifed, sending the leading vehicle to the left and the towed APC to the right, where it flipped and fell into a ditch. The driver of the leading APC, who reports say lost control of his vehicle, was killed. The purchase of a group of antiquated AT-105 Saxon armored personnel carriers from the United Kingdom was hailed by Ukrainian leadership as a major boost to the country's military, but even British military equipment can't protect pro-Kiev soldiers from their tactical genius. Moscow has announced end of activities under the Treaty of Conventional Armed Forces in Europe CFE. In accordance with it, the Russian Federation has taken the decision to halt its participation in meetings of the CFE consulting group from March 11, 2015. For many years, the Russian Federation has been doing everything possible to maintain the treaty, initiated talks on its adaptation and ratified the adaptation agreement, Moscow said Tuesday, adding that all such efforts have been dismissed by NATO in favor of the alliance's expansion. Following the Duma, or Russian parliament, President Vladimir Putin has signed the ratification of a law that sanctions Russian participation in the $100 billion BRICS Bank on Monday. The BRICS Bank, Putin has said, will become one of the largest multilateral financial development institutions in the world. The BRICS Bank, launched last year, will fund infrastructure projects in Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa and challenge the dominance of the Western-led World Bank and IMF. The end of activities under the Treaty on CFE and the participation in BRICS Bank are only a few of the many marks of U.S.'s unipolar world disintegration. Washington has ignored international rules and cheated in the game for far too long, so some of the players have just reshuffled the cards.